Hello everyone. Um so welcome back. I'm going to be talking about the company in the game Star Citizen or Simulator Star Citizen. I'm gonna call it a simulator because that's just my personal thing. Um it is called Robert Space Industry. That's actually the website you need to go to to love this game to figure out more about it. Um, the link will be in the description. Go make an account, look around, get talking with people, even maybe join an organization, buy a ship, make some friends, read about the company, all that. So anyways, the, f the, board, the board of directors a meeting was held in 2068, which led to, um, as we all know, the simulator you see now. Basically, this is kind of the starting point where humanity took a chance and went into the stars. Um, after that, they were talking and talking and talking, and they, you know, they said we can do better than what we're doing now, and they pushed and pushed toward they pushed and pushed humanity towards bigger and better things. So. Basically, in 2075, a few years after um, the meeting was held, um, the Quantum Core engine was made. And what that is, it's basically the engine in all starships. It makes it go into space. Um, it was the engine in the first starships, which is awesome. Quantum Core engine. Um, you know, after that, that basically took humanity from this slim tube of space and what they know about space and people who go into space and explore and that expanded it into a never ending um, space basically and they started from there they had they were at ground level and they wanted to see hey which way did we go did we go left right or up and, you know they came from the bottom and so here they are um, so, in 2140, RSI premiered the first model of the Zeus, a quantum drive-equipped starship priced for private ownership. Now, almost 900 years later, RSI is still one of the most trusted, reliable names in ship manufacturing, um, building ship for the civilian population, such as the Aurora and Constellation, which, as we all know, is one of the ships in there, two of the ships that are in the simulator now that are available for purchase, which you should also check out. Um, there's not an exact date, but there's, for the military craft, there's not a date when they started. But Rapper Space Industries has enjoyed a long and fruitful collaboration with the UEE military in the development of astro engineering tech in the defense of the public. So, you know, RSI made some military ships, which is also for sale if you want to see them. Um, so go to Robert Space Industry Explore. It, should, it will be under store, pledge. And after that, you just have to go to single ship packages or multi ship packages if you want to see the packages. Or you could just look at the ships and the add on. The one that you should start with to get your blood pumping is the Freelancer. Um, so yeah, make sure you check all that out. So anyways, back to the company. Um, that is the military craft portion of it. They just work on the military engines, or the military ships. Now we're moving down from the, what crafts they make into the development of how they make the craft, such as the engine development. Um, they're talking about the quantum drive technology that the company made like 900 years ago to make jumps into different areas and find what's there. Um, the organization from which the company evolved, the engine development team is constantly refining in quantum drive technology the company patented, patented, I don't know, <laughs> almost 900 years ago. Modern jump engines are made ever more efficient in each generation of development with a significant safety increase part of the irritation. EDT 
also develops in-house power plant and thruster systems for RSI spacecraft with the overall goal of reducing cost and constant pursuit of the founder's dream of affordable private space travel. So again, if you want to check all this stuff out, it will be in the link below. So make sure you do it. Now, down from the engine development, we're going to go into full-scale avionics and nav drives. And please stick around for this because this actually gives it a little bit of a hint of a job that you could possibly do or a, and it gives a hint of what they will be doing in the game and it was a big hint when people read it um, for a lot of people I told them to read this area and then I told them what it's basically saying and then they got really excited about it so listen to this the stars are RSI's business so it so it only makes sense that the company would put navigation in forefront of its production line RSI avionics are perfectly tuned to work within the engineering parameters of their ships. RSI avionics systems are equipped with UEE approved nav drives capable capable of accepting multiple formats for the navigation of charted jump points but also records flight data for new jump points. So basically what it's saying is that when the actually actual creators of the simulator put more areas in and more places you can visit they are not found yet um even though they made them it's not recorded in any data there's no data of it people can just once it's created people can find a way there and you know explore and that's when it's created so that's part of the flight data area so you can make new jump points um so that's the RS, that's the Robert Space Industries um, area of what they do here, um, of what their potential is, what they mean, and that's explaining their company as a whole. Um, that's just one of them out of many, and by, by I mean many, I only mean five more, which I will be getting into. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Do all of that good stuff. And have a nice day.